the reason why uh like i guess i guess i've been i've been saying that i wanted to do comments today is because i wanted to read with, to you all some of the unhinged crap that i have to deal with on a fucking constant basis um you guys hear me talk about this all the time i have had a policy since i started streaming um that i don't hide shit that people say to me when people say like weird abusive shit i don't hide it i don't want i never want people to think like that the shit that i uh the shit that i do and the shit that i have to be subjected to is like uh is like doesn't exist but it does it does and so i like to keep track of it you know and I like to keep track of the funny stuff, and I like to keep track of the, the the outright transphobic stuff, and I like to keep track of all of it. And lately, I've been getting a lot of really fucking interesting comments, um, and I wanted to share some of them with you because they're fucking hilarious. And some of them are funny because uh, they're just actual funny comments. Other times, they're funny because uh, because of the claims being levied in them. And other times, they're funny just because of how unbelievably abusive they are. Also, sometimes, they're funny because they're cringe. And we've got a nice mix of those. And I wanted to read just a, just a few of these recently. So uh, maybe, maybe we're going to have some fun looking over some of these comments. Now, uh, uh, so... <laughs> Some of the comments I receive are on my YouTube videos. Most of the ones we're talking about here are going to be on my YouTube videos. But I wanted to read a few other uh, particularly good ones that I've received in uh, in, in recent memory uh, to share with you all. <laughs> so the first one is I wanted to take you all through the quote retweets of... <laughs> Of my men start apologize shut men be quiet be more quiet and start apologizing uh tweet which is really funny because that one is literally just a reversal of the tweet that Vosh did and people got very angry at it okay okay yeah I'd like some anyway let's do this. <clears throat> Here we go. It seems strange and honestly hypocritical to me that Vosh was lambasted for this exact joke by the leftist community, but somehow now it's okay because it's coming from a trans woman. Please, for the love of... Now, this one's funny. Some of these people were actually being cool, but I'm telling you right now, is misandry, even when ironic, helpful in advocating for transgender rights? No. F finally, the duality is complete. Thank God. Challenge accepted. You start. Get it? They're saying I'm a, I'm a man because I'm trans. You get it? Get it? They're telling me to shut up. They're so mad over me echoing the Voss joke that they, you know, they want to do a little bit of transphobia. Isn't that great? Love it. Let's continue, shall we? <coughs> Here we have somebody saying, I'm going to be louder now. This one I like, okay? I absolutely abhor you as a human being. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. But this is completely fair. Yay! I'm glad that I got a retweet from somebody who absolutely abhors me as a human being. Women first, says anarcho weebism. This one's a supportive one. And we have a little Omega lol. This one's just kind of, you know, fine. Here's somebody going, wow, the optics, as if that's like a own. The parody account and the real account are starting to look eerily similar. Wait, the parody account is fucking poggers. The parody account is funnier than I am. It sucks. I hate it. I hate that the parody the parody Demon Mama account is literally funnier than me. It sucks. Women stop being beta challenge. No. No, I won't. Oh no. Is Demon Mama gonna get VDS brain worms? So you guys can see that the quote retweets were as as you can see, malding. Um, yeah, the Demon Mama fake is fucking great, by the way. Uh, so that, these are like, the, these are the tamest ones. But you can see, it's very funny that, um, that people think they're owning me when I literally do a mirror version of the joke that everybody was discoursing about. Look at the comments of the last one. No, nah, I don't think I will. Um, yeah, I think people might have taken this a little personally. Yeah, you know? So we got a lot of those, which is very funny. The, the women stop being beta, all that sort of shit, okay? But this one is a really good one, okay? 
Listen, hold on. Oh, shit. I didn't crop this one. Let me crop okay. this one. Ready? Are you guys ready for one of the most crazy ones I've ever gotten? This one was wild. This was a, this was somebody added this. By the way, this was in response to... Let me, actually, let me show you first what this was in response to. Okay? So this was in response to... My Twitter announcement from the other day. So talk about like a... Like a Sir, this is a Wendy's moment. Uh, I tweeted my announcement which was this right here, okay? So, this thing right here. Today at 4 p.m., Mama's back. Today we embrace the chaos because we have a lot to talk about. This was an, a joke announcement. Vosh may have murdered ContraPoints in a Russian meth lab incident, but it was Demon Mama who found the Elden Ring. And then, of course, I put this photoshopped picture of Melania from, Melania from, from Elden Ring with my face on it, which is, you know, pretty cool. Uh... So this comment that you, that I'm about to read was a direct reply to this, okay? Okay, ready? I will in the future treat all trans people online as infants. If Vosh's years of advocacy asking questions in DMs are abuse and hostile, the rest of us have no shot. I will attempt to protect feelings, but this is disgusting id poll. I actually feel sick signing off a problematic ally i don't think you're an ally if your response to a trans person uh, by the way 20 bucks guess which flag they had in their bio anybody anybody can guess which flag they had in their bio anybody sucks sucks but it's gonna hurt no 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 unfortunately no Nope. Ukrainian. That's right. A lot of these comments are from people who are flying that Ukrainian flag. Do you, wait, which? Who is it? Who's the person who's been doing the Ukrainian flag thing? Is it a... Mmm. E. Ooh. Anyway. Uh, ugh. Sucks. Sucks, guys. Maybe, maybe we took the nationalism th meme a little too far, okay? Um can't shit post anymore oh no 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 i don't think that was a shit post this person was pretty mad at me just saying think this might might not be a shit post i'm gonna be a little mean here okay i'm gonna be really mean here okay because this is basically a perfect example of unfettered parasociality okay but i think we need to be a little mean here let's listen in on this one okay are you ready <clears throat> this was a comment on my most recent stream in which I talked about a lot of topics. One of the topics I talked about was uh, the the many, many, many accusations of misbehavior uh, that went on in the Vosh versus Cat Black situation. This was on that video, okay? Not gonna lie, as a victim of abuse with PTSD, this is the stream that kind of ruined my perception of DM as a whole. Really upset because aside from some of her attitude, I like her content, but this was abuse apologia and Vosh was in fact abused. The concept that abuse requires personal relationships or some sort of long-lasting situation is genuinely unhinged and excuses so many things. And the fact that Demon Mama was not only extremely bad faith and cruel to the caller, I don't think that's accurate, you can rewatch the VOD and see for yourself, but also literally started to try and gaslight them over the definition of gaslighting, frankly she was gaslighting them a lot, how could she not see that her own behavior here was abusive? So, did I do apologia or am I abuse? I'm really grossed out by the left's collective inability to admit that Vosh was abused in this case by another content creator just because they seemingly have unresolved grudges against him. Just because you have an issue with someone, even if it's super justified, does not justify abusing them? And no, the shit Vosh said is not comparative to what Kat did with him. I criticize him often, and I think he needs to pull his shit together on certain things, but holy fuck, if you can't see how he was clearly being manipulated and hurt through all of this, and you want to justify that shit by claiming him being mad or insulting an abuser, you yourself clearly need to learn more about abuse and question why you are so willing to victim blame. 
I was triggered so many freaking times by your behavior on this stream and your awful justifications for abusive tactics. And frankly, I don't think I'm going to be able to resubscribe until I know 100% that you've changed your mind on these ideas. I don't want to get my information from someone who would likely have sided with my abusers just because I called them names for abusing me. I'm sad. Please rethink all of this. Guys, first off, if I ever catch any of you imps posting shit like this on somebody else's videos, I will fucking cast you out of hell. Holy fucking shit. Do not ever post like this, ever, on the internet, fucking ever, okay? First of all, there are so many things I want to talk about. First off... I think that it is absurd to claim that I did any form of abuse apologia. In my stream, I was incredibly careful to say that I don't think that abuse is the correct framework to, to, to analyze either of their actions. In fact, I took extreme care to say that while I think some people could categorize Vosh calling Cat Black a retard numerous times as abusive, that it wouldn't mean abusive in the way that most people say abusive. I literally defended Vosh on that point and said, I don't think it's fair to call this abuse either. Yes, could it be framed as abusive language as in the dictionary definition of abusive meaning harmful or hurtful? When people say someone is abusive, they're referring to something like an abusive parent or an abusive partner or an abusive friend. Somebody who, over time, establishes a pattern of manipulation towards an individual. And I don't think that's a helpful framework to analyze a internet dispute. Like, like I've said this through a very long time online. I have said this explicitly. And when I have on my show made allegations of abuse, I have backed them up with receipts. But there's another aspect of this, which is the parasocial aspect. This line right here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to read this one more time. Okay. We're going to read this part one more time real quick. Okay. I was triggered so freaking many times by your behavior on this stream and your awful justifications for abusive tactics. And frankly, I don't think I'm going to be able to resubscribe until I know 100% you've changed your mind on these ideas. I don't want to get my information from someone who likely would have sided with my abusers just because I called them names for abusing me. Get the fuck out with that parasocial weird shit. I don't know your abusers. There's no way I could know your abusers. Your abusers weren't internet debate people. Your abusers probably weren't even public figures. I don't know what happened to you. Please do not project it onto me via YouTube comments because you didn't like my video. That is incredibly cringe and incredibly weird and incredibly unhealthy for both of us. I don't think you should resubscribe. If you were triggered so many freaking times by my very even-handed coverage of this event, I do not think it's safe or healthy for you to be subscribed to my channel. And I hope you the best. But I assure you that there is next to no chance that I would ever side with anyone's fucking abuser. I can't even imagine a circumstance when I would side with someone's abuser. That is so demented of you to, uh, to throw that at me via YouTube comment because you didn't like my video. Also, all seriousness aside, I did not think it was going to be the, like, Vosh and DGG communities that I was getting people saying, I got triggered so many freaking times by this video. Guys, what? Is this... That sounds like Thought Slime community shit. Aren't these guys the edgy, tough debate bros? Who since when is it the Voshites who go, Oh no! Demon Mama's video triggered me! I'm triggered! I was being triggered by the, the Pepes! I was being triggered by the Keck D! Oh! 
don't isn't that the thing you guys like literally viciously make fun of other communities for isn't that a bit like the woke sold woke scold shit to be coming into my comments and like being like i got triggered so many freaking times by demon mama's fucking tired ass tired ass going through some internet drama it was triggering me pack it up please holy fucking shit no, it's crazy. No, 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 no. Nuts. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's not just about every Voshite being an edgelord. It's about the fact that the community constantly, literally, the community constantly talks about how they're the tough guys. They're the edgy leftists that dip their balls in the internet and they don't care. And yet, this is the shit. And there's a lot of this type of shit, by the way. There's been a lot of this. So many people have been have been messaging like so many people have been messaging me going oh my god i'm so triggered that you would that you would side with vosh's abuser because i said that cat black made mistakes but so did vosh what the fuck i i i i'm i unironically never expected this to be the case i expected a i i didn't i don't even get comments like this when i beef with like with like fucking ej and luna oi VGG was the last place I expected to hear this too, but at the end of the day, these communities attract yes men. It's wild. All of a sudden, every single Voshite, last year, every Voshite would just be like, huh, Arsler this, huh, Arsler that, huh, I don't care. <laughs> Words can't hurt me, bro. And now they're like, oh, excuse me, I think it was abuse when you said you disagreed with Vosh online. He was trying to talk to you and and you just, you just couldn't listen. You were abusing him. All of a sudden, oh my god, it's gaslighting. You're gaslighting. You're, you're, you didn't, when my streamer accused you of, say, of saying something that you didn't say, and then they misheard you, you were gaslighting. I just, I'm getting, I'm getting very triggered by this. I'm getting very triggered by this. Meanwhile, they'll flip the channel and go watch, watch Vosh fucking scream about whatever. As long as, scream at me for fuck's sake. Guys, when did the community become like this? All of a sudden, there's just out of, out of nowhere, a bunch of abuse experts and personal relationship counselors just flooding the comments going, Oh, I'm very, very concerned. I'm extremely concerned that Demon Mama is, is engaging in, uh, in abuse tactics such as disagreement, the well-known abuse tactic. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? I told you I was going to get a little mad about this one. I never apologized to you for saying Wendy's is terrible. I'm sorry for being an abuser, nuts. I'm sorry for be for abusing you by saying I don't like Wendy's. I should never have I didn't I couldn't have known that Wendy was your waifu and that I would be technically abusing your wife by saying I don't like Wendy's. I did not mean to do that. Very sorry. I apologize. Please. I hope you can forgive me. So, let's return to some of the comments, shall we? I know all of this is a side conversation of me going through and talking to my comments, but I don't know. Guys, this one was really fucking weird. Are you guys ready for this? So, this one happened immediately as my after my stream ended, okay? This one made me cringe really hard. Are you guys ready for this? Biting the hand that feeds. <sighs> Cringe! So, the implication here being that me criticizing Vosh is biting the hand that feeds. Uh, with all due respect to Vosh and the Voshites... You guys have never fucking fed me shit. I, I appreciate the times that you've been supportive, just as I've been supportive to you. But uh, you might want to do a little bit of a numbers check. Because last I checked, my checks aren't written by Vosh. Last I checked, the donos aren't coming from Vosh and the Voshites. They're coming from the imps. That one made me cringe really hard. Now that's a small one, but God... Wait, who said that comment? Oh, I've been cutting out the names. We don't need to, uh, we don't need to do that. <laughs> My goal is to not, not show exact names. Okay, this is another one that I really liked. Are you guys ready? This is another perfect example, by the way, of, uh, of, this is a perfect example 
of the thing I never expected to have come from most of these communities online. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Oh, wow. You had the audacity to keep this video of your tactics up. I'll be using your content to teach people what abuser tactics look like. You do them so much, it's wild. Top tier skills there trying to manipulate people. You can rationalize that parasocial fans of someone else are always out to get you, but your own behavior is super obvious. We don't need to know the other involved to see your behavior is textbook, but nice try. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's weird how obsessed they are with the idea of me being an abuser. You know what this reminds me of a little bit? Do you guys remember that ContraPoints video on canceling? You guys remember the ContraPoints video on canceling? The cycle where it goes from like accusation to essentialization? Somebody, in this case Vosh, accuses me of being abusive and gaslighting. Let me note, when he misheard me, he accused me of gaslighting. Just for the record books. Uh, and then now, now his fans come in and they're just saying that I'm an abuser because apparently those are the same thing. You are accused of abuse. Well, that makes you an abuser. Well, no, it doesn't. See, you've just skipped a step there. And it's, I thought this was crazy because if they're really going to try and use people to teach me what abuser tactics look like, first of all, I feel very bad for their students. And secondly, I feel very good for their students in another way, which is their students will know nothing about abuse. However, their students will have a fun time watching a Demon Mama stream. So, you know, that's kind of fun. Um, my streams are really cool and fun. You should subscribe and like the stream if you haven't. If you're here, like the stream. Sick as hell. See? Bam. Yeah, so this is another one of those uh, comments where I'm just like, you guys, like, I feel like, I, I, I feel like you're lacking a lot of perspective here. If you think that my seven-hour stream in which I carefully page through a bunch of Twitter threads and give my genuine opinion on them and talk about my life in a very candid manner, if you think that is an example of abuser tactics and that I'm, like, top-tier manipulator, I don't know what to tell you. I just... I don't know what to tell you when, when that's the sort of response people give to my very, very not dramatic stream. Now, this one's a little change in pace. Let's take a little break. This one's a different one, okay, guys? This one's different, okay? This one's a different type of, of funny, okay? We get to enjoy this one a little bit differently, okay? This one's a Destiny one, okay? Here we go. Destiny is an off-putting communicator, and I'd probably avoid him if I knew him IRL because his view on the world is just not compatible with mine. However, he is rigorous in his arguments, and the only way I figure people are misconstruing it is because of purposeful misunderstanding or disgust in his character. If you understand what Destiny is actually saying and still disagree, there is no problem. If you truly think Destiny is a rape apologist, maybe reflect on if you'd react the same if someone you respect said what he is saying. There should be a standard in emotional maturity to speak against unsavory behavior when you're involved in casual sex. Now, some of you might be wondering, what the hell is this about? Well, this is on my video in which somebody called in to defend to do rape apologia. You can watch the video. What they were doing was unequivocally rape apologia. Now, Destiny was also doing rape apologia in addition to harassing a sexual harassment victim because he didn't like that she didn't handle her sexual assault correctly. I'm not kidding you. Yes, that actually happened. Yes, there's a video segment on it. It is very fucked up. Now, there's a couple of things about this content, this comment here that made me go, hmm, things that make you go, hmm. And the first one is this weird thing that happens a lot of times from Destiny fans where they pretend to not be a Destiny fan, you know? So, uh, <laughs> so they start by going, ah, yes, Destiny is an off-putting communicator and I'd probably avoid him, which that in and of itself is a bit of a self-report. If you're saying, if you're like, oh yeah, Destiny is extremely annoying, un is rude to everyone that he talks to, and I would avoid him IRL, I feel like you're not starting your case off particularly well. But secondly, 
then immediately saying he is so rigorous in his arguments that the only way that people don't agree with him is because they purposefully misunderstand or have discussed with his character seems like you're kind of giving away the game in a different way being like no there's no possible way that destiny's tweets that he tweeted at the victim of sexual assault saying that she was too stupid to have casual sex no there's no way that that could be seen as as rape apologia could it well according to this commenter no so yes uh i i find it very funny the weird, sanctimonious, typically liberal, by the way. That's something liberals love to do. You ever notice that? Liberals always love to, to like, they like to do this fainting thing where they go, oh, well, you know, I'm not a fan of capitalism either, but it's got a point. Or they go, oh, oh, oh my goodness, it sucks. I know, I know Barack Obama was a war criminal, but he really had no, he really had no, no choice. The Republicans gave him no choice. Oh, it's this, it's this weird thing where they like, they won't own the shit that they, that they do. This comment ends it up by, by literally just saying that, that people, that by literally lying about what was being talked about and saying, you should have the emotional maturity to speak against unsavory behavior when you're involved in casual sex, which, by the way, is a Mott and Bailey from what was actually being argued, but even still puts the blame on the victim of abuse. So once again, it's an example. Oh, it's a shame, but I'm just going to have to do a little bit of rape apologia. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, it's so dreadful, but I have no choice. I have no choice. It's so fucking frustrating. I hate that. If you're going to do fucking rape apology, just come in and go, Demon Mama, you're fucking stupid, and I think you lied. I would prefer that a hundred times to this, like, performative, well, you know, I'm not a big fan of Destiny, but I, I just have to watch all of his content, you know? I fucking hate that shit so goddamn much. Here we go. Here's a fun one. This is a classic. You know, I don't care about this one being spotted or whatever, but people's names... I love this one. By the way, there are literally hundreds of comments exactly like this. By the way, this one was indeed from five days ago. This Demon Mama guy is so annoying. Hundreds of comments like that. Now, that one's not, you know, you go, ah, it's just somebody calling you a man, you know, but there are hundreds of those. The last time I, the last time I did a comment review chat voted for me to stop doing the comment review because the number of transphobic comments were making them sad just saying you guys have no fucking clue what the shit that we have to deal with <laughs> yeah boy shimoy now i hate the dung eater and personally i would stay away from him irl because our worldviews don't align but he does make a good point and i think that anybody who agree who disagrees with the dung eater must simply be crazy or dishonest bad faith demon mama after all <laughs> good one good boy good one you boy shimoy excellent excellent okay are you guys ready this is another wild one okay this is another fucking wild one. Hold on. First, we're going to do this. Okay. Okay. This whole argument is absolutely absurd. The fact that Demon Mama actually agreed to the idea that touching a guy's balls, even when he says no, is rape, actually disgusts me. Holy shit. The bar for rape is dangerously low. Okay, I'm going to put this up to a vote real quick, okay? Is touching someone's genitalia after they explicitly say no reasonably considered rape? I think it's very reasonable to consider that rape. If somebody explicitly tells you, do not touch my genitals, and somebody touches your genitals, I think it is. Now, I can understand some people here here hear my hear me out on this okay thank you appreciate the ver appreciate my chat agreeing with me on this one do appreciate that hear me out i can understand that some people would say no okay 
I can understand that some people would say they don't consider it that way. However, what I cannot understand, what I cannot understand is somebody saying that I, me, I am disgusting and and that I am putting the bar for rape dangerously low because I think it is. Do you do you do you see why I wanted to highlight this particular comment? This argument is absurd. Because I said that touching a guy's balls, even though he says no, is rape, which I think is a reasonable proposition, apparently disgusts this individual. But guess what? It's not done. Unfortunately, there's more. Okay? This person had more to say. Okay? Now, you might notice that some of this language is a little familiar. 30 minutes in, and Demon Mama is unironically arguing that rape and sexual assault are the same thing. No difference. I did not argue that, actually. I can't handle the rest of this BS. I'm getting so frustrated and triggered by her completely disgusting way of arguing. Straw man on straw man on straw man, while grandstanding and telling the dude to shut up multiple times. Man, these fans are getting so triggered and frustrated. God, I didn't know these debate bro fans were so easily triggered. I'm getting triggered that you disagree with me. You triggered me so many times when you disagreed with me on the internet and I chose to watch the video and I kept watching the video and you were triggering me. Guys, what the fuck? What the fuck? The, 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 I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like we're doomed. In some ways, this shit makes me so blackpilled because I feel like we can't actually ever, we will never be able to have good faith discussions about abuse. We will never be able to have good faith discussions about consent. We will never be able to have good faith discussions about getting triggered because not only do the anti SJW freaks out there uh, 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 do this whole like uh, triggered thing where they make fun of people being triggered, but then the so called debate bros ironically or performatively claim they're being triggered by arguments that disagree with them. It is the most blackpilling, embarrassing shit I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. Isn't that wild? I'm so, I'm so fucking sorry that me disagreeing with you is now considered triggered because you've decided to uh, fucking colonize the language of the language of social justice. I imagine, imagine trying to be like D Demon Mama was triggering me because she set the bar for rape too low. She was being too protective of people's consent. Do you know how by brain met brain fucking meltingly dumb this fucking shit is do you know how fucking annoying it is and th this is this is just the selection of the comments i haven't even given you all of them holy fuck debate bros debate bro fans on one side ha! i love it when my guy uses a slur and then on the other end <laughs> i'm getting triggered by disagreement I ha the woke scolds are triggering me. What are you talking? This is demented. We all of these words are just it's fucking brain soup on the internet these days. Imagine being the dirt the uh, imagine being a dirtbag woke scold. I didn't know that was a thing. The a dirt scold? Is that what we want to call them now? A dirt scold? We should maybe use that word. These fucking dirt scolds. fucking cursed okay guys we got more cringe okay all right we got more cringe everybody it's time this one this one is gonna be a lot of cringe okay this is a long one so you guys get to have fun we get to read an essay you ready we have a long essay Northside Star, now I understand why you repeated your position on the R slur before looking at these. You're welcome. Here we go. 
You need to look back over the debate with Vosh. You've obviously got beef with him for something because you'd never normally be responding to these things like this. But frankly, he didn't say anything particularly incorrect in the debate with you, with exception to the misunderstanding partway in which, in which he misheard you. Hold on a second. With exception to the misunderstanding partway in, the, in where he misheard you and accused me of gaslighting him. Let's, let's remember that detail, everybody. You guys are or were friends. Why are you being like this? Okay. Did, did I remember how I... T you guys, I just told you a couple seconds ago this one was going to be a bit of a cringe ride. Here we go. You you are or were friends. Why are you being like this? Well, first of all, it's a fucking two-way street. Second of all, you don't know anything about me or Vosh. Shut the fuck up. Why are you jumping on him too? Why is he jumping on me? It doesn't make sense. I've watched the argument you two had four separate times. Do not watch any... Actually, no. You know what? Watch as many times as you want. On four separate streams to see if I can figure out what the hell went wrong. And I can only come to the con conclusion that you refuse to be seen as wrong. Or as having a harmful take on something. Now they switch topics. Cat was being abusive in their beef, and dropping hundreds of DMs is pretty shit. And as for Contra, well, it was pretty shitty of her to say he was wrong with no idea of what his actual take was. And she may agree with Cat now, but she agrees with Vosh in basically every one of her videos, or something in her must have changed recently since she hasn't been posting, because while she was actively posting videos, she never would have come at Vosh for this sort of thing. I don't know if this is some stunt between the left to drum up interest or drama the cabal or just I don't know but if it's not you if it's not you really need to take another look at all this because you didn't treat him fairly frankly if a black trans creator is being a tard he should call them one period exclamation point you can repeatedly claim she didn't she didn't say she hadn't read his messages, but she did. She said she wasn't going to bother reading anything she wrote. He wrote, she joked about it, used it as a way to insult him further, and yes, acting like he's wrong, attributing positions and behavior upon him when you don't even know what his behavior or opinion is, is just gaslighting. DM, you may want to look into forms of abuse because you've engaged in plenty of emotionally abusive behavior yourself. Now, by the way, this person is a regular commenter, regular rage commenter, common, I know their username, I know they watch a lot of Vosh. This person coming in here to accuse me of abuse, that I'm triggering them in abu and, and, and abuse, when they literally said they watched the stream four times and couldn't come to understand anybody's position except for Vosh's, I think that might be a problem with you, dear viewer. Not with anybody else. So, boy, I told you this one was going to be cringe, but it's not over. That's right. It's not over yet. There's a second essay. Are you ready? Essay part two. Let us go into the essay part two. From the same person, my ex was just like this, referring to me by the way, referring to me. She ever had some take that was just incorrect, she would dig her heels in and never admit that she was wrong. All Vosh was trying to do was convince DM that DIY meds could have dangerous ends. That is not accurate. And we shouldn't, as a matter of policy, support the idea of people trying them, except in the most dire of circumstances. That isn't a bad take. It really is a correct take. And a lot of what Demon Mama did during the conversation was abusive, gaslighting, or general rhetorical trickery. Ooh! Oh, God damn it! Rhetorical trickery! Ooh! Oh, who's... Vosh would never engage in that. Destiny would never engage in that. Th rhetorical trickery. A few times she spouted off with a bunch of, I'm saying this because you said, because I said, because of this, because of that. I'm very charitable. Intentionally being extremely confusing for several minutes at a time without ever actually answering what he was asking. Well, I did try. It's a distraction technique. 
conspiracy minded again watch it again i've literally watched it four times on four different creator streams just to see if maybe i'm missing something but at this point i've just got to conclude that vosh was in the right and somehow the vds is coming out the only conclusion this user can come to not is that maybe they just don't understand my position but is that i have vds that's the only conclusion after watching it four times guys they watch that like a cumulative six hours of the same conversation and they can only conclude that the only answer is that I have VDS. Also, please, I'm, I'm going to do it again, guys. Do not ever compare me to your ex or your abusive ex. That is the fucking weirdest shit. I don't even know who you are. Well, actually, in this case, I do know your username, and that's about it. That is the most parasocial, cringe shit, and the number of times it's shown up in this, there's a lot of these. I'm just saying there are a lot of these comments that are exactly like this, and it is fucking weird. Don't compare any streamer to your ex unless you know that. It, yes, just don't compare any streamer to your ex, please. They're literally doing what JK Rowling did to Vosh. Yes, I know. They're doing the, you remind me of my ex-husband thing. It's, in, it's, it's fucking parasocial as shit. It's so parasocial. And it's extremely uncomfortable for me. I don't, if you don't like me, call me a dumbass, say I'm a, I'm a stupid shrieking bitch, plenty of you did that, got a lot of those comments, why is Demon Mama so shrieky, oh, she's, I hate listening to her, she's so annoying to listen to, boy, I can listen to hours of dudes screaming on the internet, but when Demon Mama comes in, I have a problem with that, she's so shrieky, and naggy, and annoying, she, I just, she just complains. I can't, re I can't, you know, restate her arguments, but it just sounded like complaining to me. There was this woman on the screen complaining. You know, it reminded me of my mom. You know, it really reminded me of my mom. I, I, I loved my mom, but my mom used to, when I was younger, talk loudly at me and shout at me. And when Demon Mama was talking loudly at her microphone, that was like when my mom screamed at me. <sighs> okay, guys. This is the shit that I was talking about. Now do, you, now do you all see why I wanted to do a comment reading section? Do you all see why? Because of this fucking shit. Holy shit. This has been my comment section for like a fucking week. It's absolutely off the rails. Okay, I'm going to give you another example. This happened again. Okay, ready? We're doing another one. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. It's time for another comment. We got another one. DM, I love you, but these recent takes on Vosh and this drama are borderline incoherent. Come on. They're not incoherent. I really hope you reevaluate your opinions. It really seems like it's coming from spite more than anything else. I really respect you as a creator, but this drama is so unnecessary. You're telling me this drama is unnecessary? You might want to talk to somebody else about that. Like, Cat Black and Contra are clearly in the wrong here, and I just can't believe you would be giving him, him referring to Vosh, shit for the Arsler stuff like it's such a minute issue. He does it to everyone. The id shit on the left is seriously driving me insane. Hmm. I do not think that saying he calls everyone retarded is a good argument in favor of your creator. And also, I don't think it's fair to Vosh. I don't think he does that. I don't think Vosh does that, by the way. Um, but it's really interesting. It's really interesting to me um, 
that uh first of all the focus on the id poll people really don't like the idea that people that aren't white guys have opinions isn't it interesting it really is the oh now you made it political what's that where's that fucking meme somebody fucking sent me a meme like that hold on a second hold on let's see can i find that fucking meme where is it where's the goddamn meme this is the one. It's this meme. Yes, thank you, Constance. Constance comes to save the day once again. Here's the meme. It's right here. Okay? Here you go. Dear, smiling. You made it political. Oh, damn it. It's getting blocked by the thing. Shit. You made it political. This is literally how it goes, okay? It's like, sure, I will watch four different dude streamers screaming at things on the internet and then oh, why'd you have to make it fucking political mm, i hate id poll oh when trans people say they disagree with me it's fucking oh you made it id poll oh i hate it it's so fucking annoying it's like oh oh god forbid that's that a fucking that somebody disagrees with somebody else while being gay or while being trans so fucking dumb Psychosocialism says, I wish Doe streamed more. Doe might stream more when we move to our new spot. Doe has not been feeling up to streaming lately, but that's okay. I told Doe when it moved here, it would not have to stream until it felt comfortable. So it's been taking a break for a while. And that's perfectly fine with me. Much love to Doe, obviously. Here we go again. This is another comment, okay? And I'm going to be fair to this one as best as I can. Oh, we're definitely going to do that. Doe Twitter is fucking banging, of course. Let's do this one. Ready? Here we go. Another one. As a DM fan and patron for the last couple of months, sadly, I have to state this or else I'll get called a Voshite and my comments automatically dismissed. That is not true. That is so not true. I am. That is so fucking not true. I think this stream was really weird. She had some okay points, but this Vosh, how dare you call her the R word, that's not what I said, is odd and weird coming from Demon Mama, the one who is extremely edgy and has even stated when she had the Q&A stream that she doesn't care that much for optics and will say more or less whatever she wants. You can tell at certain points that she's somewhat self-aware and is really looking for a reason to be upset. You can tell that I'm somewhat self-aware. Can you give me the evidence of that? Like you, you're just, that is just projection. You can tell she's lying. She's being, oh, she's being even handed. That's a rhetor. Oh no. Oh, she's stating her honest opinion. God damn it. Honesty is such a dishonest rhetorical tactic. I'm assuming this is because of the convo she had with Vosh a week ago and got curb stomped. I highly recommend you watch the stream Vosh did. He goes over the tweets, DMs, and everything. At first, I disagreed, but after watching the stream and hearing him out, now I agree. That's another thing they like to do. They like to say, I'm pretended, I'm faking being upset. Vosh did this too, by the way, in saying I was faking it for victim points. I was, I was playing it up for victim points. Has anyone in this space of weird, psychotic, emotionless robots ever taken a moment to think that maybe somebody is just genuinely genu genuinely expressing their beliefs and thoughts like i do all the time people will get mad at me if i'm angry and then they will say that i am a fake liar a fake liar who's pretending to be calm when i'm calm it is a double standard I cannot win. This is why, even though I'm glad, I'm very thankful this person is a DM fan and has been a patron, really appreciate it. One of the things that drives me absolutely up a wall is that I can never, ever win. When I'm calm, I'm lying, I'm being deceitful, I'm playing up being a victim um, because, because that's what I'm doing because I'm a woman, you know, and I'm playing up being a victim, which is really fucking weird to me. Uh, when I'm loud, I'm shrieking, I'm upset. They say that all the time. Demon Mama is so annoying and angry. Why is she so emotional? You will get to those. We're going to get to those comments soon. The ones where they just say, Demon Mama was very emotional as to the reason why they disagreed with me. As if, first of all, that would be a good reason to disagree. And secondly, as if that isn't like 
literally the thing that fucking drives me up a wall is that anytime, even though Vosh can literally do a stream for seven hours screaming at somebody who, who he disagreed with about being a retard, I can't say, oh, I don't think that was a good look without being said that I'm either a duplicitous femoid or uh, a shrieking femoid. Isn't that fucking weird? Drives me fucking up a wall. Honestly, the double standard is so goddamn annoying. And I just, you know, I thought it would be fun to highlight some of these comments and, you know, let people see what what I what I got to hear. Let's see if I can get the other one. Ah, yes, my favorite. Here's a good one. Here's a great example of exactly what I'm talking about, okay? You guys ready for this one? Here we go. Here we fucking go. One of the worst DM streams I've seen, sadly. The Vosh debate was not how Demon Mama framed it. Vosh was calm, rational, and very patient throughout. And DM kept playing the victim and was whiny and emotional throughout. Abuse apologia is gross. I like DM, but the characterizations were a little unhinged for sure. Do like the new haircut, though. Suits Demon Mama much better, I think. Thanks for the... Thank you for the haircut compliment. I appreciate that. I appreciate you complimenting my appearance after you said that I was whiny and emotional and playing the victim. That's very affirming. I will say, I feel very affirmed in my uh, female identity right now. You know? I feel very feminine right now. What got me were, Sound Judgment says, what got me were comments where I saw, I saw where people in Vosh's stream video were saying you were abusive to your chat by yelling at them and insulting them. When it's literally a meme in VGG about Vosh doing it all the time. Doesn't he have an emote of him doing that? Lamau. What is happening to the online left? Uh, this has been the case for a long time. There have been a lot of, they just were contained to certain communities before. You think it might be a transphobic thing? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Ah, womanhood. Yes, indeed. This remind L LB says, This reminds me of the hippy dippy debate where everyone was accusing Demon Mama of being overly emotional and Vosh being, in their words, a gentleman. I noticed the misogyny back then and it's literally the same here. It's never gone away. Yep. It's been always like that. No matter how calm I am, no matter how calm I am, even if I'm on a panel with people who are known, are famous for having explosive anger and having explosive emotions, Destiny and Vosh, both people who are very performative and explosive on stream, even when I'm on a panel with them, they will always call me the emotional one, no matter how calm I am. No matter what. My last stream, do you guys remember what I yelled about last stream? I yelled about two things, Ukraine situation and the trans uh, and the anti-trans laws in America. That was what I yelled about. I didn't yell about my Vosh conflict. I didn't yell about the Vosh drama. I kept it cool. I was deliberately, I deliberately wanted to, to not do any of this while I was angry. So I waited. I did my stream. I did it calm and I try and collected as best as possible. And even then I'm accused of being fake calm. When I just wanted to handle it with calmness. So apparently when you make an active decision to not go into something too angry and then, then you're fake. But if you do go into it and you are angry, well, then you're a, a loud shrieky bitch. PD Pete says, honestly, the first time I stumbled on Demon Mama's stream, I stuck around because the way she was nice to her YouTube chat, the way she said, hi, YouTube chat, and the community here was so warm, I immediately knew this community is the one I'm going to stick around in. Well, we do genuinely try to make a warm community. It's always been one of my gold. I'm not always perfect. Sometimes I do shout at my chat, but I really try not to be horrible. Gayfesh says, hey, remember that time when Vosh went on Tim Pool to debate Charlie Kirk and then deliberately never got angry? I think that was a femoid moment. Maybe Vosh was having a femoid moment. You should pitch that to some of his commenters. What the hell is this? Wait, is this a good one? Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. 
Demon Mama says that Ukraine should just surrender to stop the suffering is plain wrong because Russia will not stop with Ukraine and there will be more suffering. Ukraine needs to win to prevent Russia's expansionism to stop the bloodshed. It's like telling Poland to not fight when the Nazis invaded because there was no chance of them winning and it will end suffering. If Russia wins, Ukraine is just the beginning. It will get so much worse. <gasps> what? When did I say that? When did I ever even say that? Oh yeah, that's another thing. Did I read you guys the weird fan fiction? Oh my god, I forgot to read you the fan fiction. I need to read you the fan fiction. I posted it. Hold on. I posted it and I need to read it to you now. I forgot to read this to you. Here we go. Here's one of the ones. Ready? This is the Demon Mama fan fiction. This was posted on the Destiny subreddit, by the way. I think DM would be a cat lady with rented property on the beach, but like bad beach property. I mean, the location is great and the view exquisite, but the house itself is in complete shambles. She'd tell all her friends it's a summer cottage, but all that means is the landlord shuts the water off in the winter because the lease is only technically good for the summer months. She would spend her free time writing mail in review mail in reviews for products seen only on early morning infomercials, despite the fact that she's never used them. Her nights would be spent gazing over the translucent shimmer of the midnight waves while wondering how could things be different if people actually listen to me yeah yeah that's it guys i snapped this in the wild by the way like nobody sent this to me i was i was on reddit and i saw a post about me and i went to the post about me and i scrolled down and this was like the third comment down Okay, we're going to do some weird shit here, okay? You guys ready? We're going to do it live. Ready? I just searched this now. You guys ready? I just, I just searched this. So, here it is. You can see, I just searched my own name on, on Reddit. Let's take a look. I haven't looked at Reddit. Demon Mama is making me doubt reality. This fucking stream Vosh is watching right now is actually starting to make me feel like I experienced something completely different. Like I've completely detached from reality. Dude, this is so weird. Then they edited it and said, Jesus Christ, you guys are weird about Demon Mama. Please stop. I still think she's a force for good. Y'all are weirding me out. Here we go. It's gaslighting. She's as toxic as Cat was being, if not more. Define gaslighting. That's not what gaslighting is. You can't gaslight tweets. Only family members can gaslight. You don't know what gaslighting is. You're accusing me of sexual harassment. Vosh gaslit me. I didn't say Vosh gaslit me. Holy, she was toxic. This is way too concise of an opinion. No way this is a demon mama uh, quote. Uh, oh, hey, look, we got one. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, so you want me to define what gaslight means? Is that it? That's it, isn't it? You want me to define what gaslight means? I, I, There's just so many different possible definitions I could give. I don't even know where to start. There's just so many. What do you possibly want me to do? I don't even know. I don't think writing an essay in a, in a like, it, doing an impression of me that you are ripping out of your head is like a healthy way of engaging on the internet. This is like, how many words is this? Can we get a word count on this? How many words is this? What the hell? Clear this shit. Clear this shit. 182 words, 1,005 characters. Damn, I got a full fucking... I got a full fucking short post. I got a full fucking product review. A, a, a qualified product review. Editing, formatting. This, the supply lines debate DM had with Vosh gave me straight up gaslighting vibes. The gaslighting vibes from when Vosh misheard me and then he said that I was gaslighting him because he misheard me. It's so horrifying to me how events can happen online and different people can see completely different events. It's all documented on the internet, all perfectly available for everyone to see, yet we still end up with multiple different stories. The online left is hopeless. Hmm, curious. Almost like the adage, there's more than one side to the story, has always been true and is still true. How odd. Flat for bro.
She isn't a force for good. Stop coping. She is literally a caricature of a leftist by anti-SJWs with her absolute batshit opinions. All of her good opinions are copy-pasted from Vosh. It's funny, I don't actually agree with Vosh on that many core issues. We have pretty different approaches. I just think Vosh is a force for good. Let's keep going. I believe we call these lol cows. I think the only bigger lol cow on the left is Mike from PA. Demon Demon gives more outwardly bad and dangerous takes, but Mike is just funnier. Is, are we talking about the same Mike from PA here? DIY meds, being against mandated schools, saying self-diagnosis is more important than a professional one. There are many more. These are my batshit opinions. My batshit opinion, like when I literally said the opposite of this, when I said that self-diagnosis is very important, you could argue in some cases it's more important, but only because only you know your own symptoms. And doctors aren't you. No one else can read your mind. So you being able to diagnose yourself is what gets you to the doctor. But okay. That was an abusive, self-righteous, gaslighting sh sack of shit does. Sorry, that's what an abusive, self-righteous, gaslighting sack of shit does. DM is legit one of the worst people that the online left has to offer and has been for quite some time now. Yeah, I hadn't seen much of their stuff before, but holy fuck, they come off as a monster. It was actually unsettling when they were talking to that Lenoira person. I wish the term gaslighting hadn't been so watered down by the internet because, good lord, that was probably the closest I've actually seen. 18 upvotes on this one. Every conversation I have now is gaslighting all of a sudden. It's weird. Vosh accuses me of gaslighting, and then all of the Vosh fans suddenly say I'm gaslighting with every single word that I say. So fucking weird, guys. Ooh, this is a big one. If you can't really get that vibe from her in her video critiquing Vosh, then I don't think any... Oh, oh sorry. <clears throat> Can you give me an example? The only stuff I've seen from her is her video criticizing Vosh's take on DID and her video talking about BPD, which I thought both were very extremely helpful. Thanks! Thanks, the one person! Thank you! Appreciate that! If you can't really get that vibe from her video critiquing Vosh, then I don't think any example will help but her bridge burning with Hans was a pretty big tell to a how little she values friendship and b how quick she is to try to bail from a conversation in the worst way possible by threatening to burn said bridge when she isn't getting the upper hand in a convo which is where I feel the manipulation and abusive behavior comes in by the way guys I haven't talked about or to Hans in months and Hans recently came back to tweet some of the most unhinged things about me, including accusing me and my partner of being terrorists. So, sorry guys. Sorry, but I don't think this is very fair. She spent a whole conversation that eventually turned into an argument with Han stating, I swear to God I'm going to leave, this is so disrespectful. Yeah, that's how it happened. As if him questioning her belief on education being a requirement was some sort of grand show of disrespect. That wasn't it. The reason was that he literally was screaming over me which other people watched and came out. It's funny, even Vosh felt that way at first. She is legit one of the worst faith people on the platform, constantly resorting to juvenile strawmanning, bad faith presentation, and demeaning those who she disagrees with, but quickly growing angry when she feels like the same tactics are being used on her. Hmm... Vosh's most recent conversation with her is another example of how she does this. His conversation with her about a year ago in regards to Kinkit Pride was another conversation where she, she displayed her shitty behavior as well. Guys, do you remember Kinkit Pride? Can we take a moment here? Like, I recognize that, that more or less this has been water under a bridge, but can I just say, do you guys remember what, the, what, what happened during the Kinkit Pride thing? Do you guys remember what I was angry about? Do you guys remember what I was fucking angry about? I do. I remember why I got mad at Vosh. It was because Vosh was accusing, on his stream, random people of being pedophile apologists without evidence because they disagreed with Shoe on Head's Nazi propaganda.
And yes, it was. Shu on Head retweeted a fake image that was originally created by Nazis. Shu has retweeted this image before and knows it was made by Nazis and still retweeted it anyway. Sorry, guys. I think, I think we might have a little bit of a demented perspective here. But that's all right. You know, got a nice 13 upvotes. <sighs> oh, hey, here's some gay fesh hate. That's the it found the DG gear, by the way. I was literally on my hands and knees begging for Vosh not to bring her on. Unless you're some masochist, I don't see why you would ever think bringing her on again would lead to quality discussion. I'd rather watch Haas screaming into a microphone for six hours than sit through 30 minutes of Demon Mama's condescension and inevitable gaslighting. You guys... I would love for one person to provide a single example of me gaslighting. One example. Don't watch the VOD, though, because you're going to find Vosh mishearing and then accusing me of gaslighting him when he misheard me. Oh, that one might sting a little bit, guys. I don't believe she believes a single fucking word she's saying. She's just butthurt, and she did poorly against Vosh last time and is taking the opportunity to lash out. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you guys see what I'm talking about with this shit? Literally, they can't conceive that me, the person who has gone on record disagreeing with Vosh many times, they can't fucking conceive of the idea that I might disagree with him on this one. It's actually wild. And yes, it's funny because Vosh said that too, which sucks. But all right. Vosh is entitled to dumb fuck opinions as well, just like his fans. Oops, getting pushback on this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this one. Oh, it's this person. Here we go. Somebody says here, wait, how is saying supply chains will take on different forms arguing against supply chains? They're defending me here. This doesn't imply that they'll totally stop existing, just that they'll be different than they are now. Then we go, without monopolistic control? Nah, this is indefensible. You cannot have modern supply chains without states that have a monopoly on violence. Not even remotely fucking possible. And honestly, it's kind of delusional to think otherwise. It should be self-evident. Just think it through the slightest bit. My, I do not need evidence for my argument. I, oh, it is self-evident. I don't need to provide an argument. If there isn't a monopoly on violence, that means other groups in the same area can also do violence. What? What? And that they aren't answerable to any other group doing violence because if they answer to them, then there's an effective monopoly on violence. Modern civilization does not exist and cannot exist without a monopoly on violence. So it's really dumb for people to think this is a bad thing. It literally means the KKK can do vigilante justice. It means corpse can just straight up pirate other corpse supplies from the supply chain. That's what it means. In reality, there is no imaginary force enforcing correct behavior without the state and its monopoly on violence. This is fascist rhetoric, by the way. Saying that, that order only comes from the state, that only the state provides any sense of order, that is literal fascist rhetoric. I know this person isn't a fascist. I'm, I'm not saying they are a fascist, but that is fascist rhetoric. The argument that order is the, is the gift of the state, of the powerful state, that only through the state, only through the nation can we have order, is straight up fascist rhetoric. Anyway, it can or should be entirely socialist. None of this is not socialism. Yes, it is. You are definitively not arguing. Arguing for monopolized supply chains is not socialism. You don't need to, uh, to abolish all government to be a leftist. In fact, literally no leftist ideals can possibly exist in the real fucking world without the state. I am so over dumb fuck extreme anarchism. You mean literal any anarchism? You mean any anarchism? Do you know what anarchism means? It's in the fucking name. God, it's so annoying. Oh, it fucking drives me wild. Oh, it's so fucking wild. Oh my God, this person ended up writing... Wait, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to just, I don't want to just, I don't want to just snipe at people, but I'm sorry. This person is arg is so angry at me. Wait, look at this post, guys. Guys, look at this post. I'm going to scroll. Watch. This is a post. Angry, angrily responding. Ready? Ready? 
bro B- fucking bro don't don't argue this long over me ever holy fuck guys please i'm begging you go play elden ring just call me stupid and then go play elden ring i would rather have you people fucking call me stupid than write 45 out like 45 fucking page essays that talk about how the state has to exist i'm tired of dumb fuck anarchists let me write for 45 minutes about how dumb anarchists are while i'm writing for 45 fucking minutes into a reddit thread and it keeps going by the way guys this is a different one look ready watch this are you ready another one another one that's just as long that's a separate comment that's a separate comment all ultimately arguing over me i should be flattered that one tweet that i make can make this happen weeks of people talking for hours because i made one tweet Wait, which sentence? Read the last sentence of this one. I'm done. This is literally too stupid to engage with. You realize that pirates were fought by merchants arming themselves, not just a state monopoly on violence, right? Which is why spices and shit from the east was so fucking radically expensive. How many mercenary armies, armies do you see defending each semi rolling down the road? The fact that they don't have to is the fucking point. What? Okay. Oh, he keeps going, by the way. Hey, here's somebody being charitable. To be fair, she does say that supply chains will take a different form. My issue is that I can't imagine a DIY supply lane, supply chain that could scale up without looking pretty similar to any other industrial supply chain. I'm not really sure what the difference is she's trying to describe. See, I could have a conversation with this person. This person is somebody I could have a conversation with. Oh, look who's back. It's this guy again. He's back again. This guy goes and arc... Is he in like all of these? He's in all of these. Oh no. He's in every thread on this entire. Oh no. He posted a second post in the same one. No. Oh no. No bitches. Definitionally no bitches. No fucking bitches. Oh my motherfucking god. <laughs> hey, I love this one. Guys, hey, hey, we got a good one. We got a good one. This is a nice one from a demon from a, from a Destiny fan. For anyone thinking of getting into this latest Vosh and Demon Mama drama, just don't. Trust me, I went through 2 hours of the Vosh stream vod and it is incredibly tedious. I will say though, uh even though Demon Mama is a really shitty person, her hair her new hair looks kind of nice. <laughs> Yes! Haircut wins! Yes! Haircut victory once again. See? Dumb SJW bitches, all they gotta do is get a haircut and then you're too sexy to kill. Ooh! Ooh! Let's shake it up a little bit. Look at this one I just found. Demon Mama is fine. Y'all are overreacting. For real. A lot of you are former DGGers who think that they're better than current DGGers trying to get te cheap dunks on anarchists. Was Demon Mama a bit cringe? Yes. Hey. Does that mean she's an abuser? No. Calm down. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Now, I'll notice this has zero upvotes. But let's look at the comments, shall we? Let's get ready. Nah, Chief, that was an incredibly bad look. Her persistent hostility was super unwarranted and unhinged. If that's the way she treats her friends, it would not come as a surprise that her interpersonal relationships are marred with abuse. Bro. Oh, Demon Mama must abuse her partners because she disagreed with my daddy figure. Dude, what? Do you see what I'm fucking talking about? massive just the parasociology is absurd demon mama was extremely hostile and was using abuser tactics knowingly or not this says nothing about her current past or future relationships only that it was a f infuriatingly un unproductive discussion that made her look really bad oh my god at least at least even though they said i was using abuser tactics which i think is really stretch this part thank you for that 
appreciate that. Appreciate that it says nothing about her current past or future relationships. Do appreciate that. I don't think I was using abuser tactics, and I don't think I was hostile, but okay. It's one thing to say you should be making your own medicine. What the fuck is you should be self-diagnosing? Ah, a dgg -er. <laughs> Wait, oh, ooh. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Demon Mama's great, actually. That trash debate with her has finally turned this community against anarchism. I love to see it. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, that one was funny. Okay, guys, that was good. We got some good cringe out of that one. All right, ready? Here we go. Here's another one. Here's a great example. Ready, guys? Look, I know this subreddit hates Demon Mama, but can we recognize that this is a banger? By the way, this was from nine days ago. So this was right as DGG was jumping down my throat. Now, I do find it interesting that it says, I know this subreddit hates Demon Mama. This vote has zero upvotes at this point. Well, it's been downvoted to hell. And it's my tweet. On this website, you meet a lot of anarchists who love following the rules, socialists who don't want to rush it on worker ownership, communists who root, root for fascist invasions, environmentalists who denounce land, de de land defense. This website is a very silly place. Now, I think that's great. Do you want to see what the... Now let's take a look at the... Very nice. Now let's see the comments. Not really, lol. It's actually kind of retarded. True. Communists who root for fascist inv inv invasions. Very true. Anarchists who love following the rules. Because every book on anarchism is just one sentence that reads, Fuck rules, Lamau. I do what I want. This reads like an ANCAP tweet. Socialists who don't want to rush it on worker ownership. Because blowing your load without a proper base is a great way to achieve socialism. I think if there's only one way I could describe myself politically throughout my whole entire life, it's anarchist who really loves rules. Rules are the coolest thing ever invented, if you ask me. What I don't think I like is rulers. It explains a lot of my positions, even at extreme degrees sometimes. I can't really root, I can really root for propaganda of the deed, but it has to follow really strict rules, like directed only at property and not people, or with, or with clear demands or goals and limitations. Anarchy is order. All right. To be fair, that's not as cringe. That's not very, it's not so cringe. I have disagreements, but that's not so cringe. I just wanted to, I just find the anarchy is order statement to be concerning to say the least. I, I do not agree with those ones.